Forget ChatGPT code suggestions. The new GPT-5 codex will do everything for you. OpenAI just pushed a big update to codex, the GPT-5 codex model, which was really optimized for coding and replacing developers rather than just solving basic coding tasks. They were really trained to handle large repositories and work on long tasks of multiple hours of work and doing big PRs and even reviews. So in short, it's a GPT-5 level capacity LLM, but specifically fine-tuned for coding. So it's really powerful and much more powerful at these specific tasks. It achieves amazing results on Sweebench and Sweebench Refactor, great benchmarks to measure improvements for coding agents, and has various improvements from previous models, like less error rates, better at finding bugs, and more impactful comments rather than just fluff. Just like GPT-5, it can also dynamically allocate efforts, so thinking more or less depending on the task, and since it was heavily trained for coding tasks, it's really good at determining how much it should think or not, so it can reduce costs for really easy tasks or think a lot more for really hard ones. So it seems to be quite powerful for these. And they say that it's really optimal to do so, but we'll have to test in the real world to really figure out if it does not think when it doesn't need to. Because let's be honest, for a thinking model, we are quite used to wait for way too long for a simple answer, especially when coding. You can use it in the CLI or in IDEs, it's really easy to install. In short, it seems to be a really good step up for coding models that are more than just LLMs, but a whole proactive agent actually doing advanced coding rather than just completion or simple generations. It also caches results, so it's much more efficient when used online and querying the same part of the repository multiple times. In short, I think it's a really good improvement and I'll definitely give it a try. I'd recommend to do so. Let me know if you agree. I'm Louis-Francois, CTO and co-founder of Tours AI, and follow me for tomorrow's No BS Roundup.